contrary to alleged reports of women being confined to home under Afghanistan's Taliban administration. Nearly a dozen women and girls are seen taking jobs in a confectionery shop in the northern city of Mazar-i-Sharif. The owner of the shop, Sayed Abbas, told Xinhua that 10 women and girls work there regularly, making cakes and biscuits. Amini, one of the sweets makers, said that the mayor of Mazar-i-Sharif had visited the store to show his support for working women. The Taliban administration has, however, barred women from working in some government entities and has stopped girls from attending school beyond grade 7. In Kabul, spokesman Zabihala Mujahid said schools for girls would open in the new school year, which begins in March. Following the abrupt withdrawal of U.S.-led forces in August 2021, Washington has imposed sanctions on the embattled country, freezing Afghan assets and compounding the poverty brought by 20 years of foreign occupation. Women are an important part of the workforce that remains amid the devastation in Afghanistan, most notably in health, schools and retail. Adilat Bari, a mother of two, is a manager of the Arabia Balki market, a bazaar for women who run their own businesses.